Consistency is key when making espresso. For accurate and consistent brew water temperatures, there's no substitute for PID. And knowing an extraction's timing, that's a huge help when zeroing in on getting the best from a coffee. Hey, espresso lovers, Mark here from Whole Latte Love with two machines from Rocket Espresso. Both feature PID for accurate brew temps and a subtle automatic shot timer on the face of the machines. These are Rocket's latest versions of their heat exchange boiler machines with vibration pumps. The Chrono Metro V Giotto with the flaring angular side panels and the Moza Fiato with thick flat side panels running up to seamlessly integrated cup rails. The change from previous models is that subtle shot timer which gets the new Chrono Metro V name. Machines with heat exchange boilers allow you to brew and steam at the same time, and that's a big step up in convenience compared to single boiler machines, which only do one at a time and require waiting when transitioning a boiler from a brewing temp to steam temps. Both these machines are available in rotary pump plumbable versions. Those run about $500 more and are named Chrono Metro R. Beyond the nameplate, you can easily tell them apart by the color of the gauges. Vibration pump models have white gauges and rotary pump models have black gauges. If interested, you can use the link up here for my video on the Chrono Metro R versions of these machines. Beneath the panels, the Giotto and Moza Fiato are essentially identical with 1.8 liter copper heat exchange boilers, vibration pump, hidden PID temperature control, and water fed from the inboard reservoir. Coming up, I've got SCASE testing of brew temperatures, a look at steaming performance. I'll take the panels off for a look at internal components and construction. I'll go through what comes in the box, including a pleasant surprise, and show you a custom walnut wood accent package that adds a bottomless portafilter and precision triple shot filter basket. It's beautiful, a real bargain, and a whole latte love exclusive. The Type V heat exchange boiler machines with PID have been around for a few years. Again, the change with the Chrono Metro version is the subtle shot timer on the face of the machine. It automatically starts counting up when you lift the lever to brew and then holds the final time for a few seconds after brewing. Now, timing is the most basic way of appraising a shot, but very useful when dialing in grind size and comparing shots. If you've been using a watch, your phone, or just counting in your head, the automatic shot timer makes your life a whole lot easier. Beyond extensive branding on their machines, the design philosophy is minimizing modern digital displays to maintain a more classic look. That's why PID displays are hidden behind the drip tray on these machines. Now, I've known Andrew Mio, who is responsible for the exterior design for about a decade and have spoken with him about the hidden PID control. He says customers prefer the cleaner, more classic look, so he hides the PID and the new shot timer is low key when in use and nearly invisible when not in use. Modern heat exchange boiler machines using PID are remarkable. Prior to designs using PID, pressure stats were used to control boiler temperatures. They're not nearly as accurate as PID, which uses logic and very short pulses of energy for precise control of boiler temperatures without swings or overshooting. Cooling flushes prior to brewing are usually required when using a machine controlled by a pressure stat. Those are messy and leave one guessing at the actual brew temperature. With PID, brew temperature accuracy at the group is excellent. In my testing with a SCASE device, so long as you keep your portafilter in the group when not in use, the temperature you set is what you'll get. Keeping an empty portafilter in the group is important. Not only does it keep the portafilter warm, but it becomes part of the thermosiphon system, acting as a heat sink to dissipate excess heat and assure accurate brew temperatures. Rocket machines use the actual temperature in the boiler to set the PID for a desired brew temperature. A reference chart in the manual shows the boiler temp setting for desired brew temps. In my case, I want 201 degrees Fahrenheit. The chart says set the PID to an in boiler temp of 248. In my SCASE test, time after time, brew temps were within plus or minus half a degree and very stable over time using my standard of measuring after 20 seconds of flow. 
in the box, your machine, of course, and it comes with a really nice fabric cover. For accessories, it comes with a single and double spout portafilter with matching filter baskets, a nice usable tamper, which is rare. Most of them come with those plastic tampers, a blind filter basket, and six cleaning tablets for back flushing, a group brush, an excellent full color user manual, microfiber cleaning towel, and a USB thumb drive with manuals, how to's, and more. In a whole latte love exclusive, you can customize your Chrono Metro with a walnut wood accent package that includes wood knobs for the steam and hot water valves, wood end on the group lever, wood handles on the angled portafilter, and my favorite part, a bottomless portafilter with a 22 gram triple shot Barista Pro Nanotech filter basket. The wood is gorgeous and your bottomless extractions will be too. Both machines use a two-hole steam tip. Their large 1.8 liter boilers provide excellent steaming performance. In my test, the average time to steam six ounces of milk from 45 degrees to a finished temp of around 140 degrees Fahrenheit was about 16 seconds. The two-hole steam tip produces a vigorous roll in a frothing pitcher, so you can get a really nice froth. Rocket's Chrono Metro machines have excellent steaming power in their heat exchange boilers. Following steaming, the boiler recovered to set temperature and pressure in about 15 seconds after a final purge. With fast recovery, making back-to-back milk-based drinks is no problem on these machines. Rocket uses a ceramic mushroom valve in the E61 group. It's an upgrade over chrome-plated mushrooms, which over time can't flake off the plating. Steam and hot water wands are insulated to prevent burns. The PID can be set to display boiler temperature in Fahrenheit or Celsius. Taking the panels off, the Mozofiato reveals the 1.8 liter copper heat exchange boiler with brass end plates. An insulated jacket surrounds the boiler. Note the vibration pump and copper plumbing for pressure carrying lines. Electronics are well protected from heat and moisture and internal wiring is really high quality. To realize the full capability of these machines, they should be paired with a quality grinder. Two excellent options from Rocket are the Fausto with 65 millimeter burrs. It's available in black or chrome, or the more compact Faustino with 50 millimeter burrs. It's available in black or chrome as well. See the video description for more info on those grinders. The Rocket, Chrono Metro V, Giotto, and Moza Fiato machines are state-of-the-art in heat exchange boiler technology. You'll get rock-solid brew temps without the need to flush prior to pulling a shot. The subtle shot timer is a real help without disturbing the classic look of the machine with an in-your-face digital display. If you have any questions about these machines or anything coffee, use the comments and I'll get you answers. I'm Mark, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, do subscribe so you'll know about the latest on everything coffee, brought to you by Whole Latte Love.